Hi guys, to me this phone will always be engraved in my memory as a great animated film um, and that is, let's get on with it, this is Transformers the movie from 1986 animated film from Toei Studios and this is the first ever version I've owned of this film this is the 2001 version which um, had a few special features on there not too many but it is what it is and then the earlier version of the film which came out 2001 and it was from Sony Wonder parental guidance because of a few swear words and robot violence sort of thing so it transforms the movie 2001 edition and then i picked up the american version because the region one version because it had special collector's edition it had more features and a lot more to offer and this came out when did this come out this came out in 2000 or then in, i think that could have been 2000 as well the uk version but this um it's pretty, pretty much the same really when you think about it but it was like remastered restored and unedited still parental guidance Transforms the movie, different covers, it's got the American cover, I believe that was the British cover, or the alternative cover at least, and then came in 2005, 2006, was the reconstructed version, which is probably one of the better versions of the film I've always been told. Uh, loads of extra features, tons of extra features and just a special, special film in itself and I think it's two discs. Now let's not forget about this, this film according to this in, in some kind of order anyway, probably alphabetical order, it stars, well it features the voices of Eric Idle as Redgar, Judd Nelson as Hot Rod slash Rodimus Prime, Leonard Knight Nimoy as Galvatron, but apparently he also, apparently he was doing the voice of Unicron as well at one point. Robert Stack as Ultra Magnus, Lionel Stander as Cup, the old wise Cup, and also Wells, even as, even as it says here, as Unicron. Now this infamously was Unicron's, Orson Welles' last film. He worked on and he was in ill condition he could hardly stand he was in a wheelchair he was wheelchair bound and he didn't know too much about the film apart from he knew it was a toy range and of course this is my latest version uh, of Transformers the movie which came out in 2016 the 30th anniversary edition um, Classic, classic stuff. Loads of extra features. Now, what can I say about Transformers the movie that hasn't been said before? And I'm also forgetting my tinned version as well, which came out in 2007, in coherence at the same time as the Michael Bay film first came out. The first Michael Bay film. Now, with Transformers the movie, the memories I had of that film is that I watched it with my dad and my brother Paul and we all watched it on cinema together an Odeon cinema and it was in 1986 it was Christmas round well round about Christmas it was December 1986 it was a Sunday afternoon 1986 it had already been out in America um, so we didn't really know any spoilers or anything like that. I was too young to understand what the spoilers were or anything like that. It already come out in the summer in 1986 in August in America. Now, of course, we was watching the TV show, so we're familiar with that. And then we get to see it on the big screen at an Odeon Cinema in 1986. And boy, what an experience that was. And like, 
everything was just amped up the animation the soundtrack uh, the voice acting um even from the standard cast that were featured in the show as well they were there as well um you know we had grimlock we had optimus prime peter cullen we had front walkers megatron and they say those as like um when megatron and and um optimus prime do battle in their fight to the death basically i mean oh, that's a bit of a spoiler there i'm so sorry but um you know their fight the touch by stan bush the soundtrack in general spectre general uh nrg you know instruments of destruction megatron blasting his way into the autobot shuttle towards the beginning of the film within about the first five or ten minutes or so and destroying autobots left right and center lovable characters that were destroyed by megatron and killed off on screen in mega blasts now when optimus prime passes away in this film about 25 minutes in half hour into the film or so it upset parents and with this upsetting parents well it upset children to where they were writing into hasbro to say can you bring optimus prime back and so he did eventually bring optimus prime back in season three which followed this of transformers but they brought him back in scary ways still and still did horrible things to him and uh Optimus Prime kind of dying and coming back to life it's kind of like uh one of those things that happens a lot in the Transformers universe now well it has done for a while should I say but Transformers the movie what can I say about it amazing amazing animated adventure and Megatron before he passes away turns into Galvatron. Unicron turns well Orson Wells turns Leonard Nimoy well turns Frank Mocha into Leonard Nimoy. Confusing probably but basically right Optimus Prime and Megatron have this battle. They both end up on the losing end of it but Prime only Prime wins the fight or he turns the tide so as the Decepticons retreat back to Astra train and try to um, get away um, Prime's left to die on like an operation table like a robot operation table and then we're left with Megatron in outer space who gets thrown out of Astra train by treacherous star screen second in command and at the beginning of the film we see unicron the the overlord who's a giant planet who's destroying um planets and he's heading for cybertron he's a giant planet eating planet ba planet basically who transforms during the end of the film into the giant unicron uh robot which has never been seen before the size of this transformer sort of thing He's neither a Decepticon or an Autobot. He wants to rev he wants to revenge for his own needs and stuff like that, and that's played by the late Orson Welles with a deep voice. The voice acting is just so memorable in this film with really like um, with the lines that are said. I've got no time. I've got better things to do tonight than die, says Springer, and Grimlock as well as some of the stuff he comes out with, like me, Grimlock, kick butt sort of thing but it's just going back to what i was saying megatron's in space thrown out in space before damaged decepticons in this giant autobot battle and you know megatron meets his maker by seeing unicron in space and unicron turns megatron into galvatron a new decepticon leader who's doing a all the dirty work for Unicron in trying to destroy the rest of the Autobots. Now the thing is, when Prime dies, he passes on something inside of him called the leader of Ma the Matrix of Leadership, which um, which is this thing here. You can see that, and uh, Hot Rod, the young Autobot, kind of steps up to the rank towards the end of the film 
to fight Galvatron and um, turns into Rodimus Prime and comes into turns into a new version of Optimus Prime which he goes on into the next series because before this there was series one and two of Transformers Transformers the movie in 1986 and yet and in 1986 to 1987 I think it was season three and they had a season four which only lasted like so many episodes and I think it was like 19, 1988 or whatever it was because uh, Transformers and their popularity were starting to dwindle around about this time before the ill-fated Generation 2 came along. Now, trans back to Transformers. Uh, the soundtrack, Transformers the movie that is, now the soundtrack is just absolutely brilliant. Rock and roll. Vince Dakota score. Uh, Vince Dakota did... Um, originally did the soundtrack to Rocky IV the year before. And um, his song, The Touch, was also going to be in the film Cobra, I believe. Uh, it's another Sylvester Stallone film, because Rocky Vaughan was obviously Sylvester Stallone. But an interesting one as it is. But Transforms the movie, after seeing it on the cinema, I had the VHS. We all were watching it as kids. And we all kind of like, re-watched it again and just realised how awesome this film actually was. A bit about 1993, 94, whatever it was when we re-watched re it all over again. And the interest for Transformers has come and gone over the years. And like just the G1 influence on everything was just... Generation 1, that is. Generation 1 influence on everything was just brilliant. So just Transformers, Transformers the movie in general was just everything. At the comic books, at the audio book, at the figures, I was lucky. So just Transformers the movie, yeah. Just an amazing, amazing experience on cinema. An amazing experience to watch it on DVD or Blu-ray even. And just, um, like I said, just all these different versions I've had of it over the years. I've tried to slow down a bit now. Just, just look at them. All containing different features. And don't forget again, I've mentioned it before, Vince Dakota's amazing score, which came out eventually uh, onto like a, a two disc uh, CD or something like that um his amazing score was just if you like the score to rocky 4 you like this score as well so i can't recommend transformers the movie anymore <laughs> from 1986 because it's just a classic in itself and uh, maybe it isn't everybody's cup of tea in some ways because i i remember re-watching it in 19 no in 2016 um at a place called screen 22 uh, in Nottingham and um, it was like a bit of a novelty thing where people would just watch old 80s films of like 30 years later or so and I was lucky enough to catch it again and see it in like a bit of a packed house sort of thing and watch Transformers the movie again in 2016 the film is actually set in 2005 and don't forget you've got like Daniel in there, the kid, the annoying little kid. Uh, he's the son of Spike. Now Spike was in the original first two series of Transformers and um, was he in season three? Yeah, sure he was in season three. Sure he was. I don't know if Daniel was in there. Uh, oh, then you got Wheelie as well. You've got the Dinobots with the comic relief and the Quintessons and... Oh, just 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 just, just amazing stuff, guys! You know the Quintessons that are sending people to sending robots to their death in a in a pool full of shocked cons and yeah, bar wheat ground now wheat nearly born. You'll know what I mean there, and just an amazing, amazing experience in itself. Uh, in Transformers the movie from nineteen eighty six, and Unicron amazing just just in all the way he transforms and galvatron these treacherous ways and he's a little bit crazy that galvatron played by lennon nimoy but he plays him really well and um great cast peter collin optimus prime megatron 
Frank Welker, who we know from just about everything from Gremlin Voices to uh, being in Scooby Doo to to being in a lot of things and like doing lots of animal noises in Hollywood. So definitely, guys, you need to check out the best Transformers the movie from 1986. See you later, guys. Take care. Stay safe. And it's more than meets the eye. See you soon, guys. Bye.